Yo. You already did that bit. Shut up! Yo, uh, welcome back to Cauldron of Thought. Uh, I know I literally said last video that I wouldn't be doing any more icebergs, but uh, I love lying. I love uh, spreading false information on the internet. So, yeah. Uh, this video was supposed to be out last week, but uh, my laptop almost exploded when I tried exporting the uh, file from my phone to the laptop. So uh, I basically had to redo the whole thing. Stop stalling and get on with it. Bro, who asked you, homie? So uh, yeah, apologies for the delay. Uh, the problem did get fixed, so I think it should be smooth from here on out. Oh, uh, also, check it out. Fresh cut. Did it myself. We can tell. Believe me. Bro, you think you're funny, man. Keep playing. Okay, uh, sorry about that. Um, anyways, on to the video. So uh, today's video is about the Joji iceberg. A Joji, otherwise known as George Miller, is a singer, songwriter, producer, artist and comedian um joji just means george in japanese um he's half japanese so that's where he got the name from so basically this iceberg just kind of goes through parts of his career uh as far as like his youtube career and his music career so uh yeah let's just get onto it so first layer unblock me bitch so filthy frank was a character he played on youtube from 2012 to 2017. Um, it was mostly a shock humor based show and he himself described the character as everything a person should not be the character was very offensive and last year a bunch of people on tiktok found out about it and they were like oh, cancel joji cancel joji but it, it just it didn't happen because no one cares because everyone knew uh that's it for the first layer i guess so second layer unblock me bitch uh, this is his debut EP. Uh, it was released on November 3rd, 2017, and it has six tracks. I would tell you the track names, but last time I did that, people got mad at me, so yeah. Ballads 1 is his first official album that came out on October 26, 2018, and it has 12 tracks. It's also uh, my personal favorite project from him. Uh, I feel like if you cut like two or three tracks, it'd be an absolutely perfect album, but as it is, it's still a really good album. <sighs> Anyways, where was I? In Tongues Deluxe is just an extended version of his debut EP. Um, it features uh, two new songs and eight remixes of other songs that were in the album. The two new songs were Plastic Taste and I Don't Want to Waste My Time. Um, it's honestly more of just a remix project, but I guess you can count it as something new with the two new tracks. Hot Ones is basically just a show on the internet where guests answer questions, but they eat progressively hotter wings as it goes on. Um, so one of them, they had Joji on, and there was a lot of memes that sprang from it. Nectar is his sophomore album. It was released on September 25th, 2020, and has 18 tracks. It's his latest project. I also feel it's a little bloated. Uh, 18 tracks is a lot, and frankly, there's a lot of just, like, half big songs on there. I think if you cut out six songs, it'd be, it'd be a good album. This was just a small interview he did with Vice a few years ago. Uh, it was back when he was still doing Filthy Frank stuff, and he was just starting Joji. And um, he kind of just talks about being Frank, how it affects him, and kind of where he wants to go next as far as, like, his career. Third layer. Unblock me, bitch! So, Disaster Music was his first channel that he uploaded uh, most of his videos on. He used to upload a bunch of just, like, random videos until the first Frank video, which was on August 5th, 2011. And um, after that, uh, he kind of focused just more on that character. Uh, eventually after that, he made two more channels, Too Damn Filthy and TV Filthy Frank, where he uh, kind of just pursued the Filthy Frank and Pink Guy stuff more. So this was an online concert yell during the pandemic. Um, it had him performing songs from his entire discography. Uh, a few of the songs had slightly different like versions. And um, he did like various different things while performing. Um, he did one in like a horse costume uh while cooking and while running on a treadmill and there's also like little skits in between it so it's more of like a comedy slash music show think of like not bo burnham but like the whole concept of a comedy show with music in it so before he did joji stuff he used to make music under the character of pink guy which was just another frank character and he released three projects under it uh pink guy pink season and pink season the prophecy which was basically just a small remix EP of songs from Pink Season, I think. Joji Vlogs was a channel where he just uploaded videos of himself just going about his day, just like, you know, vlog videos, just him living. But um, he eventually stopped doing it and deleted all the videos because a lot of fans didn't like that and they just wanted him to just do Frank stuff. So he ended up just removing all the videos, but you can find uploads of them on uh, YouTube. Pink Omega is Pink Guy, but he's also not. But he's his own character, but he's also not his own character because he's Pink Guy but he is pink guy he's not pink guy though chloe burbank was supposed to be his first debut project but it ended up getting replaced by in tongues the only two songs that are like officially that were going to be on it were tom and you suck charlie everyone keeps hoping that it's going to release but i highly doubt it will at this point it's been 
like five years, I think. The cancer crew was iDubs, Max Mofo, and Filthy Frank. They used to do videos all the time together. They like collab on each other's channels. They make a bunch of videos, the Cake Trilogy. But um, yeah, it's pretty much it. It's just the name that they were given. So the Harlem Shake, the um, he's the one who like originated, and it's kind of what mostly kind of skyrocketed his career. Animated series. Um, I think this is just a joke. Um, so yeah. Fourth layer. Unblock me, bitch. This is just a uh, like a small three-track EP of unreleased songs that were gonna be on the In Tongues EP. Diamonds on my dick. Amazonian pet and nightmares of the invertebrates basically you can just find uh behind the scenes videos of them making uh joji music videos they're all on the youtube channel plastic taste uh yeah you can find like pretty much all of them right there love us again is an unreleased demo slash reference track that he wrote for another pop artist although it was never specified who it was but um it got leaked a while back 88 rising ended up uh specifying on an instagram post that it would never get released it's a good song though, and it's very loved by the community. This is just the original version of Come Through. Uh, it features a slightly different instrumental, but that's about it. This is a Scrapped Nectar track. Um, the full thing hasn't leaked, but there's a snippet of it floating around, and it's it's a nice snippet. I like the beat. Hold My Blood, uh, pretty much the same situation as Love Us Again. Leaked demo, but very loved by the community. Uh, this is just an old Joji song. This was originally a song by, I'm probably pronouncing this wrong, uh, Seb Deliza. There was supposed to be a remix of it featuring Joji, but it ended up not getting released. Um, it did end up leaking a while back in low quality, so you can find it and hear what it sounds like. Pretty much the same situation as Human Nature, but this was a song with Lil Nar. He did post snippets of it here and there, but the full thing never got released. Uh, FTC stands for Fuck the Club. So during the release of Nectar, he released two uh, not songs, and it was this one and Pretty Boy. Pretty Boy ended up going on Nectar, but this one unfortunately did not. However, this song is actually pretty old because you can hear it in the background of the Yeah Right uh, behind the scenes. Feel the Same is the song played at the end of the Teriyaki God music video. Uh, this is just a Nectar throwaway. Uh, it's a bit of a club banger though. Some would say a club banger 3000. <laughs> I think this is just a reference to an old Facebook post he made where he references light years. Um, I couldn't really find anything else besides that. Fifth layer! Unblock me, bitch! <laughs> um, this is pretty self-explanatory. He just used to play old beats that was supposed to be on Chloe Burbank, apparently, on his uh, Joji Vlogs channel, like in the background. This is like an old, old Pink Guy song that you can't really find for some reason. Um, there was a music video that used to be around, but like it got wiped off the internet except for like a small snippet apparently some guy in reddit has it but he like refuses to share it for some reason pg3 stands for pink guy 3 apparently there was supposed to be a third pink guy album but there's never been like any actual 100 percent confirmation on it this is an old joji song the title is just a reference to the main vocal sample which is someone saying am i high no am i high no am i high no so yeah so this was back when he was still doing like frank stuff regularly he did an interview with mtv but it got deleted people were assuming that was just so he could keep up the Frank character, I guess. Um, just another old Joji snippet. It's around like 10 seconds long. You can find it on YouTube. Okay, so if you've ever heard the actress remix of Windows on In Tongues Deluxe, it sounds nothing like Windows. Um, it's like a weird, like, it's like a weird house alien sounding underwater thing. So the rumor going around is that the remix is the wrong song. So apparently actress made the remix and they sent it like a week before the project was supposed to come out. So 88 Rising just released it. But then later they realized that actress sent the wrong song. Like that was supposed to be a song for another EP or remix, but like by the then they just didn't have any time to fix it uh like i said it's just a rumor but there's never been any explanation as to why it sounds like that aisle six i couldn't find anything on this one i'm sorry if you know what it is please just let me know maybe it's just an old song so a while back someone posted like a little info dump and they said that uh joji was pushed by the label 88 rising to make nectar a more pop-based album and you can tell it's a very pop-based album they're just saying that he was pushed to do that so he could get more mainstream appeal and more money like i said it wasn't 100 confirmed but 88 rising has been known to be like kind of a crappy label so i wouldn't put it past him sixth layer unblock me bitch so back during the rollout of nectar he posted like a little like 30 second snippet of him singing uh wop by Megan Thee Stallion and Cardi B, but that's like pretty much it. Uh, it's not a ping guy thing. I don't know why they said it was. I got some jelly beans. You like jelly beans? Mm -hmm.
Um, so there's an alternate version of the U visualizer that you can find on YouTube. Uh, it was by Jimmy Chorng. Um, it's a video of the statue of Aphrodite getting paint poured on it. And that's pretty much it. But it's very pretty. Um, the OG pictures for Lost Instruments are these. I really hope I edited these in. Otherwise, I'm gonna look like a total moron. I couldn't find anything on this. Too Cool For You 92 is the first channel he ever had, but it's just one video of him breakdancing for like eight seconds. Uh, it was posted in like 2008. Pretty self-explanatory. He just used to put little snippets of his music and uh, old vines that he used to make. RIP VINE! Um, Waffle House in Guam is just an old song from like the early 2010s. Uh, it's got a music video and everything for it. Remember earlier when I mentioned that info dump? Uh, apparently this was part of it. Uh, he wanted to make Ballads 2 after Ballads 1 but uh, 88 Rising told him to push it back and just make Nectar instead. Like I said, pop-based album, more money, more exposure. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. Uh, this was an interview he did with Alex Sirota back in 2012. Um, he just kind of talks about who he is. Uh, he likes being a comedian and kind of just where he wants to go in the future. Seventh layer. Unblock me, bitch! Um, I couldn't find this, but apparently there's a demo version of Demons floating around. I personally haven't heard it. Greatest song ever is just Te it's technically his first song that was ever put on the internet. Uh, it was uploaded on October 25th, 2009. It got deleted, but you can find re-uploads everywhere. Lots of talk about penises. And this is just an unreleased track from 2017. The only thing known about it is just the name. Mr. Ruckus is just one of the names that he used for like his really, really old music. Like I said earlier, greatest song ever was released during the MC Ruckus era. So this was a collab he was supposed to do with Riff Raff, but it ended up never getting released. Uh, Riff Raff's the MA MANGO guy. SpongeBob Killer, uh, this is just an old Joji song. Once again, another unreleased track. Only thing known about it is the name. Same situation as Limp. I don't know what this means. I threw it in Google Translate and all I got was Octopus Man. So if there's any native speakers, please let me know. I think this is just another unreleased track. I'm not sure I couldn't find anything on it. Eight layer! Unblock me, bitch! Um, the rest of these are just unreleased tracks. As far as Ballads 3, um, it was supposed to come out after Ballads 2, but like I said, Ballads 2 got pushed back, so who even knows what's going on with Ballads 3. But, uh, yeah, that is the end of the iceberg. Uh, pretty simple. Uh, once again, apologies for the delay on the video. Uh, like I said, promise solved. I'm gonna do my best to do weekly uploads. Um, next week, I'm gonna start my You Should Bump series, and the first episode will be on Clipping, bitch. So, look forward to that. So, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, show your mom, your aunt, your grandma, your dog, your cat, your aunt, your mom, your grandma, your dog, your cat. All right, that's it. Bye.